Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick POV kind of cage update and he was doing really good until the minute I got the phone out to record and now he's grumpy. So if you haven't noticed or figured out or guessed exactly what kind of snake this is, this is our male black pine. Technically he's one of our two male black pines uh, because we picked up a small juvenile male pine from one of the only breeders in Colorado. I think he's actually the only breeder in Colorado. And then an associate of mine who was thinning out his uh, snake collection asked if I wanted his male black pine and his pair of northern pine snakes. And so uh, it was kind of a too good of a deal to, uh, you know, turn away, uh, walk away from. So I ended up now we have two males and not a single female. And we're like three years in on the wait list for a female. So, you yeah, know, whatever. But I am finally moving this guy out of the snake rack. So he was introduced Oh, about a year ago to you guys on the channel. Um, he was part of a big group of animals that was in quarantine for quite some time because I just kept getting offers of animals um, over and over and over again. Again, deals too good to walk away from. And he was put into one of the 70 quart racks. So kind of the size of what a lot of people would keep, say, like a Central American boa in is kind of what a lot of people would keep something like a four foot rack in. And that's what he and a lot of the other colubrids are in. And so this guy is actually going to be moving now into, here we'll back it up, this 4x18x24 by by cage. So 4x2x1.5. By by um, these are old melamine cages. These are like what the Blue Tongue Skinks are in and the Aki Monitor. Um, and then Shoshone, uh, one of our larger uh, female northern pine snakes. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. You can go back in there. But that's all I just kind of really wanted to do, a really quick little update to just kind of show you off is... You know, just keeping everybody in the know and what we're going on with, constantly doing stuff. I'm still struggling to find time to research. Sorry for the flies. The door's open right now. It's, we're kind of venting out some stuff, doing a little bit of... Uh, when we work with the soldering iron, that melting plastic. So I have to do it right outside the door so it doesn't have that really bad smell. So right now, flies are kind of everywhere. So apologies for that. But again, just wanted to keep everybody in the know. Quick little update as well as not just like, hey, hey, here's this little snake. Here's a story. There you go. Um, you kind of get that with this as well. So maybe I'll just add this to both the update playlist as well as all my animal playlists. He's a really cool dude. Black pine snakes are uh, also uh, essentially they are endangered or in a lot of parts of the range they are threatened. Similar to that of the eastern indigo and the Louisiana pine snake. You need special permits for interstate going back and forth, just like the Louisiana pine, just like the Eastern Indigo. So kind of what I have right now are people who either want to deal with the shipping interstate or the one breeder here in Colorado. Um, you probably are wondering what's up with this guy right here. Again, these were old bearded dragon cages. So this used to have a really big uh, basking area. He doesn't need a super, super high basking spot. It's a nice little uh, UVB strip here for him. And then this is allowing him to be able to cryptically bask when he so chooses. These guys are on 12-hour timers. As we're getting closer to the winter, we'll probably set it back down to probably 10 hours on, uh, 14 hours off. But this nice big chunk of cork bark here is actually where he's went and hid up right now. And then one hide, two hide. As previously mentioned, we're doing a lot of the soldering work. That's kind of what this stuff is. So I've noticed that a lot of people were asking in a couple reptile forums about um, like homemade hides. Uh, and this isn't even people making like resin hides or out of like the Zoo Crete stuff. This is just Dollar General or Dollar Tree or Walmart like punch bowl oil pan that we wash and then we use a soldering pen to just cut in a hole. They are dishwasher safe to begin with, so we can throw in the dishwasher if we so choose to. Yada, yada, yada. They're fairly inexpensive, so even if you crack them, if you want to replace them, um, they are a much more reasonable uh, thing. And I know right now a lot of people are, uh, you know, hurting for that. So just a little uh, freebie. Hey, there you go, Dollar Tree. Buck 25. Soldering pen costs you like 20 bucks from like a big R or Amazon or something. Wada, wada, wada. That's what 90% of all of the little hides that we have um, in and around the, like, so here, for instance, there you go. So there's, they're right there, they're Shoshone's right there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little update. Sorry for the little rant. I just wanted to get, uh, give you guys a bit of an update about how things are going right now. I don't know where he went in there, but he's in there. Oh, there he is. He's hanging there in the back. Let's see if we can get you before the end of the video. He's right there. 
So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick little video update for you guys. I know it's not the usual performed scripted stuff for you. I am still working on getting more. I have a few ideas, so stay with me on that. Thank you all so much. Um, hope everyone's having a great day, and we will check you next time.